in this video lecture i will go through how to determine the lowest point on vertical sac curve or valley curve normally the lowest point on valley curve is determined for the location of crust drainage structure like causeway etc the lowest point on vertical curve depends on types of valley curve that is the first symmetrical curve in symmetrical valley curve highest point lies on angle bisector of angle of intersection that is if the n1 if the descending gradient minus 1 is equals to ascending gradient plus n1 then the curve of then this curve particle curve is the symmetrical valley curve in this case the lowest point on the valley curve lies on a line of angle bisector of intersecting angle that is the lowest point on the curve similarly in case of asymmetrical curve that is if the slope of the valley curve does not equals then the vertical summit curve is a asymmetrical curve in that case the vertical in that case the lowest point lies on a flatter slope and this is the asymmetrical curve and the lowest point lies along the flatter slope let the lowest point lies at a distance of x from the beginning of particle curve that is the l will be the lowest point on the particle valley curve in this case we consider the particle valley curve as a cubic parabola we use y equals to y equals to y equals to that is the QL is equals to QS minus LS equals to N1 X1 minus B X1 Q. If we consider the valley curve as a square parabola, we can determine the lowest point as in as we have calculated on the highest point on summit curve. In that case, the highest point on summit curve will be the lowest point on the summit, uh, valley curve. But in this case, we consider the valley curve as a cubical parabola. Then point L will be the lowest point when Y is maximum, that is QL is maximum. And then for maxima, we have the first derivative equals to 0. And we solve the equations and putting the value of B equals to twice N by 3 L square. We determine the distance X from the beginning of particle curve is equals to l root under n1 by twice n that is the lowest point on the valley curve lies at a distance of x from the beginning of vertical curve at the flatter slope now for an example a vertical curve connects a minus 3 degree grade with 4.5 percent grade on a highway at an elevation of 220.8 meter above mean sea level the curve should be designed at least to provide the visibility of road surface to a distance up to 50 meter at night time calculate the elevation of beginning lowest and end point of vertical curve and at a distance of 60 meter left and right from the point of vertical intersection the headlight light beam angle and height of the headlight from the road surface is 1.5 degree and 0.6 meter respectively and this is the valley curve and the given that the side distance at night equals to 150 headlight beam angle alpha that is 1.5 degree height of headlight 0.6 meter and the deviation angle n is calculated as n1 minus n2 and is calculated as 0 
now length of valley curve for the night driving considerations for first we assume the length of curve is greater than side distance v is the relation and calculated as 327.96 and round of 230 meters that is our assumption 230 meters is greater than 250 meters therefore the assume relation is okay therefore the length of the valley curve is taken as 230 meter therefore tangent length t equals to l by 2 and it's calculated as 100, 165 meter now elevation of different points first we consider the valley curve as valley curve as a simple parabola in third case we use the elevation of different points considering the valley curve as a cubical parabola first we we consider a simple parabola and uh, we, uh, we will determine the elevation of different point now now elevation of beginning of vertical point that is the elevation of vertical point is equals to rl of point of vertical intersection plus n1 into t that is t is the length of tangent and is calculated as the elevation of beginning of vertical curve as 325.75 meter similarly the elevation of end of vertical curve is calculated as the RL of vertical point of intersection plus N2 into T that is T is a tangent line and is calculated as 228.23 meter now for the lowest point since 3 percentage is flatter than 4.5 percentage therefore the lowest point on this valley curve lies along 3 percentage at a distance of X from beginning of vertical point vertical curve sorry therefore the lowest point lies along the flatter slope of three percentage therefore distance of lowest point from the beginning of vertical curve is equals to n into l by n that is calculated as 132 meter that is the at a distance of 132 meter from the beginning of vertical point there lies a lowest point on the vertical curve Therefore, the RL of lowest point L, that is the RL of L, is equals to RL of S plus tangent correction. And RL of S is calculated from the relation RL of beginning of vertical curve minus Q S, and the tangent correction is given as given given as n x square by twice L. Since we have considered the simple parabola. Therefore, the lowest point on the valley curve, that is the RL of L, is calculated as 223.77 meter. Similarly, again, for the elevation at a distance of 60 meter from left of vertical point of intersection, that is 60 meter left from the vertical point of intersection, that is the at a distance of x from beginning of vertical point is equals to 165 that is the tangent line equal 165 minus at a distance of 60 meter that is the x is 105 meter that is we have to calculate the elevation of curve at a distance of 105 meter from the beginning of vertical curve that is the tangent correction is calculated as n into x square by twice l that is 0 0.075 into 105, 105 square and is calculated as 1.25 meter Therefore, the elevation of 60 meter left from the vertical point of intersection is equals to RL of beginning of vertical curve minus N1x plus tangent correction and is calculated as 323.85 meter. Similarly, the elevation of 60 meter from right from right of vertical point of intersection that is similarly that that point will be the at a distance of 105 meters from the end of vertical curve therefore elevation of 60 meter right from the point of vertical intersection equals to rl of vertical point of intersection plus n1 into x plus y that is a tangent correction is calculated from the test relation 1.25 meter and is calculated as 234.75 meter and these are the calculation based on valley curve as simple parabola 
Now, in third case, we also calculate the elevation of different point considering the vertical vertical valley curve as cubic parabola. In that, in this case also, we can calculate the elevation of beginning of vertical curve as well as end of the vertical curve, vertical curve as in previous way considering the parabolic curve square parabolic curve now in this case we cal we calculate the lowest point of vertical curve consider the cubic parabola only therefore the elevation of lowest point that is lowest point lies on the plateau slope of three percentage at a distance of x equal to l into root under 2 by twice n and is calculated as, uh, calculated as 147.58 meter therefore the lowest point on of valley curve lies at a distance of 147.58 from the beginning of particle curve if we consider the valley curve as cubical parabola therefore tangent collection is calculated as 1.48 meter therefore the elevation of lowest point that is the rl of l is calculated as rl of beginning of particle curve minus n1 into x plus y and is calculated as 222.8 meter similarly the elevation of 60 meter left from point of particle intersection that is at a distance of x 105 meters from the beginning of particle curve then the tangent correction is calculated at 0 0.53 meter therefore elevation is equals to rl of ppi plus n1 x plus y and it's calculated as 1023.12 meter therefore elevation of 60 meter right is calculated as in previous way and it's calculated as 224.03 meter don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more tutorial solution and lecture thank you